Now that Bob has had his new sets of pearly whites, and his new brain, his heart, his eyes, and his kidneys, now... I've been promoted to ambulance driver. As I said, you can't be a surgeon anymore. Bob left a complaint. He said he had one of the teeth in his body that were wrong. And I said, well, he shouldn't have swallowed it then. But that doesn't matter. Because now, now he's had a heart attack on the side of the road. So this time, we're going in to do it on the way back to hospital. Because they may have stopped me from being able to be a surgeon, but they haven't stopped me from being the surgeon. Because I can do surgery wherever I want. You ready, Bob? What am I kidding? Of course you're ready. Now, Bob, one of my most trusted individuals, might I add, he is in fact on his way to the hospital right now. Now, most doctors will tell you that on the way to the hospital, why... Well, the hell? Where's... Oh, we got different camera angles. One of which... Can we get a good body version or something? Doesn't appear to be like there is one. Is that just where I'm currently looking? Oh, it is. So if I stare like that and press that button, then I'll have a perfect vision of where he is. Right? So I just stay here and go like that. And perfect! Look at that! The thing science can do, huh? Uh, now then, let me just... I can't touch the floor, by all accounts. This ambulance is slightly taller than I am. But that's fine, because we're just going to crack ourselves off some bones and I know what you're saying he was way better with the saw than he is with the hammer but you know what when you can't have a saw you can't have a saw he didn't need a lung anyway okay so Bob okay now uh, I'll be honest I'm not seeing oh there's the knives I was gonna say Bob I can't see a knife around which is a problem for you, not me, for you. What's in here? Oh, some broken glass. We better call Trisha. Is that for a good time, I wonder? Anyway. And just like that, we have removed the water balloon that, for some weird reason, keeps on ending up inside his body. But don't worry, we'll just cut the water balloon's tether from him. Of course the man needed new lungs. He was suffocating. Somebody had stuck a water balloon inside this man. Ah. I adjusted my headset and my knife is gone. But don't worry, I have another one. Don't worry, Bob. I'm from England, so therefore I'm proficient with knives. Perfect idea, Bob, by the way. Having a heart transplant in the back of an ambulance. Now, I must say that your idea of a heart transplant in the back of an ambulance could probably be better if I decided to shut the door. But I must admire your idea of having to have it this way, you know? Oh, God. Who the hell put balloons in an ambulance, damn it? Oh, God, that balloon is gone forever. Stay back, balloons! Wah. Okay, anyway. Back to the menu with us.